Hey dolls! So I have got a big box next to me and you all know what that means. Yes, it's another haul. I know I am trying to catch up on all of these, so it's a good thing you all like them. And this is basically going to be my summer anime figure and merch haul. I tend to do these seasonally since I don't get enough monthly to really create monthly hauls. So I am just gonna jump into it and show you the items. We have everything is from Ami Ami except for one item that is from Mandarake. So let's get into it. I will start off with the four random tiny non figure items and I have two badges and two straps. I got two of these can badges from Love Live Sunshine. They are of my two best girls, Rico and Hanamaru. I already have quite a few of Rin and Hanayo. I really like these square badges for some reason and they're super cheap. Then I got two adorable straps from Yuri on Ice. The first one being this ridiculously cute Yuri on Katsudan strap. It has the three main characters in a bowl of Katsudan and there's Makachin right there and I am a sucker for Victor's heart mouth. And then I also got the strap that has the two Yuri's on it because I cannot have enough Yurio in my life. This one is super cute. And those are the four little items. Let's hop into the bigger figure items. I am going to start with the one Mandarake pre-owned purchase. And it's actually not anime related at all. It is an Ichiban Kuji figure of Tinkerbell, which is a Disney character. And the funny story about this is that I did not know it existed. I came across it randomly on MFC one day. I think when I was looking at the Tinkerbell Nendoroid and I saw it and was like, I need to own that. Why didn't I know this existed? If you don't know, Belle and Tinkerbell, two top favorite Disney characters, I adore them. And this has Tinkerbell tumbled over in a stack of three teacups and there's like sugar cubes in the teacups. It's so cute. I will zoom in at some point but I just saw it and thought I need this. So I immediately went to Mandarake which is the best place to find Ichiban Kuji figures in my experience and I found her almost immediately which since I've ordered her I found out that she actually doesn't pop up that often. So it was destined to be. I was meant to have this darling pastel tank in my life. But yeah, that is the first item. I've rambled about it enough, so let us move on. The first item I am pulling out of the box is this Nendoroid Moore Halloween set. I got the female set, the witch set. I really wanted the vampire set too, but I didn't get it because I was trying to save money, even though honestly, what would have one more of these little things really done to me? Whatever, whatever I, whatever makes me sleep better at night, right? But I'm really looking forward to taking pictures of my Nendoroids with this this Halloween. I'm trying to use the Halloween season to really get onto my goal of taking more Nendoroid photography. I really don't do much as far as figure photography goes other as far as like backgrounds and really nice setups but I really want to. Then I actually got two prize figures which is surprising because I don't buy a lot of prize figures anymore. I feel like they kind of just add clutter because of their cheapness. They're too easy to buy too many of them but these two I thought were really nice and really cheap. So the first price figure is this Yurio Cupos kit. Um, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this style on boy characters. I freaking love the Cupos kits for girl characters. I have, I don't know if you can see her back here, Princess Serenity is in there and I love her and I really love the Disney ones. I am planning to get Rapunzel at some point, definitely planning to get Tinkerbell, but I don't know how I feel about the boys. The reason I threw him in my cart was because his box was apparently damaged, so he was like $8. Um, as far as I can tell, his box is not damaged, so 
I, I don't know what was going on there. To be perfectly honest, I think the Victor and Yuri both look really creepy, but Yurio for $8 is cute enough. And I think I'm going to take him to my office and put him on my desk because my office is beige and sad and I need things that make me happy there. <laughs> he is definitely the cutest of the three Yuri on Ice cute poskets. Um, the Yuri Katsuki really freaks me out. Like, I will try to insert a picture. It's freaky. There's a closer look at him. His head is ginormous, but that is, of course, the style of cute poskets. And his outfit's actually done really well. And the other prize figure is this Anzu Futaba from Idolmaster Cinderella Girls. And I actually haven't seen Idolmaster Cinderella Girls yet, but I thought this was a really cute figure. And she was $12, so... I just went ahead and added her to my cart because I was on a spree. And I've actually already opened her and put her together. Here she is. She actually came in multiple pieces. Her head was detached from her body and her pigtails were detached from her head. So you kind of had to assemble her a little bit, but she went together really easily for me. You do have to be a little bit careful with the pigtails though because they're ridiculously thin. So don't want to snap them. But yeah, once again, not bad for $12. I don't regret getting her, and I do plan on watching Idolmaster Cinderella Girls, so it's not like I will never know anything about her character. Alright, there's four items left. Three Nendoroids, one scale figure that was pre-owned, and the first Nendo I'm pulling out is the Link Breath of the Wild DX version Nendoroid. A lot of people have gotten him, obviously. I actually have not played Breath of the Wild because I don't have a Switch, but I absolutely love the design of this Nendoroid. I love all of the accessories he comes with, from his bow and arrow and his sword, his club, the hood that he can wear on his head, the freaking horse, which I'm not sure if it's a Pona or not. There's been a lot of debate on my figure collection, but some people say it's a Pona, but not a white mane. Some people just say it's a generic horse. I don't know, but I love the fact that he comes with it. So yeah, I'm really excited to put him in lots of cute poses. And the other two Nendoroids I'm going to show you together because they go together, and you're probably not surprised that I got them. It is Yuri and Victor. I of course had to get them, and I of course have Yurio pre-ordered when he comes out in January. Their Nendoroids turned out super adorable, especially Victor's, because he comes with his heart mouth faceplate, of course. It's so cute. I love this one so much. But Yuri is of course a precious cinnamon roll as well. I am just super excited to unbox them and pose them together. I'm really happy to have them a lot. And the final item is a scale figure that I got in the pre-owned section of Ami Ami for a ridiculously good price. It's a figure that I've wanted for a long time, but have just kind of been looking out for it on the secondhand market. It wasn't super urgent or anything like that. So I'm really glad that I was patient to catch it at the ridiculously low price that I got it for, at least for what it is, you know, figures some people may not find it cheap but it was very a very good price and it is the Maiko version of Mami from Madoka Magica. I actually don't have any interest in having the full set. I just wanted Mami because I think her kimono is the prettiest and everyone has Madoka and she's really easy to find. So Mommy was the one I wanted. I'm super excited to have her. She's gonna be going on my desk at home that is this right beside me. This is my desk. And yeah, that's basically it. I love the box art. The artwork that these figures are based on is so pretty. And I might do an unboxing and review of her. I haven't decided yet. She is an older figure, so she's been out for a while, but I'd still kind of like to just showcase her on my own to just show how pretty she is. 
But that was everything for my summer anime figure and merch haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of the lovely otaku goodies and will stay tuned for my next video. Until then, stay glamorous and stay geeky. Bye dolls!